Before they even started Guided Pathways, all of the colleges in our study began using data to look at their student outcomes. And when they did that, they realized that the college itself was creating barriers to student success and that small-scale change wouldn't be enough to fix it. Leaders at these colleges realized that they had to bring together the entire college community to find innovative ways to improve success for all students. College leaders knew that they need to get everyone at the college on board with Guided Pathways for it to work. To do this, they held college-wide meetings and workshops to explain the model. They also made sure faculty and staff knew that the good work they'd already done wouldn't get scrapped and that Guided Pathways would be a framework for aligning and scaling their efforts. Part of why Guided Pathways took off at these colleges was leaders got everyone involved in the planning and implementation process. They empowered cross-functional teams of faculty, staff, and administrators to really think about how students move through the institution and how it could be better. By year four of their Guided Pathways implementation, colleges are thinking about ways to make sure the changes they've made stick. Some of that means realigning resources to sustain effective practices and taking time to reflect on their progress and accomplishments. Then they can turn to what's next.